There are hundreds of different dining locations all around Walt Disney World and in those Disney resorts, but what can make breakfast, lunch, or dinner even more magical is eating with your favorite character. So in today's video, I'm going to go over every single one of those character dining options that are available to you. If you haven't been to Walt Disney World in a while and you're thinking of character dining, one of the first ones that might come to mind is the idea of eating with Cinderella and many of the Disney princesses inside Cinderella Castle. Cinderella's royal table is definitely one of the most popular characters experiences at Walt Disney World and especially in the Magic Kingdom. It's a little bit expensive, but the reservations do go quickly, so if you're interested, make sure you reserve it as far in advance as you can, up to 180 days. Several of those Disney princesses will come to your table, take a picture, ask you how the food is. It's just a wonderful experience. I haven't been in a long time, but I've heard the beef and shrimp is especially good. One character dining experience that's relatively new at the Magic Kingdom is Tiana's Riverboat Party and Ice Cream Social. Now, at the time of filming, the Liberty Square Riverboat is undergoing refurbishment, so it's not going on right now, but once the Riverboat is back online, we will see this party come back. I have no doubt about it. I've only heard great things. It costs $49 for an adult, but you have the opportunity to experience the ice cream social, get on board, get a great seat for the Festival of Fantasy, and go all the way around with Prince Navi and Tiana as you're making your way on this Riverboat. I mean, that sounds like a fun experience. I hope to try it in the future. If you're a fan of Winnie the Pooh and all of his pals, one of the best ways to meet them is at Crystal Palace. My family and I went to Crystal Palace for breakfast a few years ago. It was a lot of fun. The food was pretty good, but the characters really made it for us. One of the restaurants that I have been meaning to get back to is the Garden Grill at Epcot and Chippendale's Harvest Feast. Chippendale are a few of my favorites, so I know I'm going to be going back very, very soon. In the past, Garden Grill had some great food. They changed it not too long ago, and the menu kind of got mixed reviews. I think they have changed it again, and I've heard some better reviews now, so I'm hoping to try it again really soon and let you know. Now, if you're looking to dine with those Disney princesses in Epcot, you can find them at Akasha's Royal Banquet Hall in Norway. That's another one that I really do want to go back to very soon. I've heard nothing but great reviews about the food, especially breakfast. I want to go back. You can meet Snow White, Cinderella, Belle, Princess Aurora and Ariel when you're there. Now, if you have fans of Disney Junior in your party, then I definitely recommend Hollywood and Vine at Hollywood Studios. There are all sorts of Disney Junior characters who are ready to meet you at Hollywood and Vine, but one of the most popular is Doc McStuffins. Hollywood and Vine also has some unique theming parties that go on during certain times of year. For example, the Springtime Dine takes place March 12th, 2018 to June 3rd, 2018, where you can shake off winter's chill with a divine dinner party that marks the bright and beautiful delight lights of spring. They also have the Summertime Dine, which takes place from June 4th, 2018 to September 2nd, 2018. And you can go to Hollywood and Vine for a beach-inspired bash celebrating the sizzle of summer. Not only can you go and enjoy meeting your favorite characters while you eat, but you can also tie it into a Fantasmic dinner package, so you can get a seat reserved for Fantasmic if you want to go, eat, and then not rush off to the show. Now, if you're looking for one of those unique pictures of a character in a special outfit, look no further than Tusker House, where you can meet Meet Safari Guide Donald. It's one of the least expensive character meals at Walt Disney World, and it also has a great buffet, so you get great food, great buffet, a Donald picture right there, and it's not too expensive, so it's a win-win. Now we're moving on to those resorts, and one of the first ones I think of on the monorail line is Ohana. Ohana is truly magical. They've got great views, fantastic food, especially for breakfast, and those character meet and greet options, again, only for breakfast, is with Lilo and Stitch, and that's a really good picture. Yes, yes, where are we? We're at Ohana. Yeah. Well, the feeling that I'm going to love you till the end of time. Oh. For dinner, Ohana is technically not considered a character dining experience, but usually you can still meet Stitch right outside of Ohana, get a picture with him. It's a lot of fun. Right down the monorail line, you can find 1900 Park Fair and find more of your favorite Disney characters. Depending on when you dine at 1900 Park Fair for breakfast or for dinner, the characters do change. I do love the dinner with Prince Charming and Cinderella, but breakfast really tops it for me. I don't know, something about Disney breakfasts, you know, breakfast food, it's comfort food, and you're meeting those fun characters characters, there's just something special about it. Now while we're at the Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, I should mention the Disney Perfectly Princess Tea Party. This special tea party includes regal music, dancing, storytelling, and of course, tea. Now if you hop back on the monorail and go two stops to the Contemporary Resort, you will come across one of my very favorite character meet and greet breakfasts, and that's Chef Mickey's. You know, several friends asked me, Michael, why is Chef Mickey's one of your favorite character breakfast meet and greets at Walt Disney World? Is it the food? 
Maybe, the food is good, maybe not the best at Walt Disney World, but it's it's really, really good. The characters, those are great too. They have special outfits on, it's a lot of fun. The music, maybe. It's the memories. For me, it's just gotta be the memories. I've been going with my family for years. We love it, it's something special that we, we really do cherish. Now, I've been to Chef Mickey's for breakfast, brunch, and dinner, and I've gotta say, breakfast is the best. It really is best food, best environment, best atmosphere, it's just, it's so much fun. Now, if you've never been before and you like a nice, quiet, relaxing breakfast, this might not be for you, because you'll see spinning napkins, celebrate with Mickey Mouse, it's fun, it's a lot of fun, but just be prepared for all of that. Another phenomenal character dining experience is at Cape May Cafe for breakfast only and Minnie's Beach Bash Breakfast. If you're looking to snag a picture of your favorite character in their beach outfit, this is the place to go for breakfast. If you're not a Castaway Key, this is the place to go for that picture. Okay, time to admit it, who else loves a good old fashioned barbecue? I know I do, and it's been too long since I've been to Mickey's Barbecue at Fort Wilderness resort and campground. Now speaking of characters in very unique outfits, you can find Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, and Chippendale all ready for a hoedown. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to going back soon. Now one character dining experience that I really don't know much about is at Garden Grove at the Swan Hotel. I've stayed at the Swan Hotel when I was like six years old. I do not remember staying there. I don't remember ever going to the Garden Grove before if I've ever been. So I hope to try that in the future, but apparently there are two characters who will come and see you and spend some time with you when you're there and apparently the food is phenomenal. Speaking of dining experiences that I really don't know much about, if you're staying at the Four Seasons near Walt Disney World and you go to a restaurant called Ravello, you can meet Goofy who's walking around for a special character breakfast, but it's only Goofy and it's only for special breakfast, so it's something to keep in mind. If you're at Four Seasons, I want to make sure I include it. Last but not least, a relatively new character dining experience on the boardwalk at Trattoria Al Forno. If you stop by for breakfast, you'll have the opportunity to see some characters that you might not otherwise see, like Ariel, Rapunzel, and Prince Eric, and Flynn Rider. Pretty cool. On one of our recent adventures, we tried it together, and I thought it was a lot of fun. Ariel, how are you? Good to see you. Yeah, he's like Flounder. He's Flounder's cousin. Hi, Vegas. It's wonderful to meet you. He's happy to meet you, too. The parade and the character interactions were great. The food was only okay. I would probably give it another try in the future, but distant future. So which character dining experience is your favorite at Walt Disney World? My favorite is Chef Mickey's for breakfast by far. It's just those memories that I hold on to. I would love to hear yours in the comments below. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, have a magical day.